Dr. Zahra Nahiyot and you are listening to the Dr. Zahra Medical Advice Podcast. In today's episode, we will talk about one of the most important public health problems, the most common cancer diagnosis in the world in women, breast cancer. One woman in 14 will develop breast cancer before the age of 75. So what is breast cancer? What are the risk factors and causes? Which signs and symptoms may this cancer include? How, and the most important, how can we prevent it? We will try to respond to all these questions in this episode. So, what is breast cancer? It's a disease in which breast cells will develop abnormally. They will grow out of control, they will accumulate and they will form a mass. This mass can begin in different parts of the breast. Lobules, which are the glands that produce milk ducts, which are tubes that carry milk to the nipple and connective tissue. The most common breast cancer began in ducts. It's called ductal carcinoma. When it begins in lobules, we call it lobular carcinoma. There are different stages depending on the invasion of these abnormal cells, from in situ, which means in place, to metastatic cancer, which means that this cells will spread from the place they started to another part of the body, liver or brain, for example, traveling to the blood or lymph system. This form is much more complicated to treat and that's why the screening is important. An early stage cancer will be easily treated by surgery and the chances of recovery are very important. What are the causes and risk factors? Environmental, lifestyle, hormonal factors have been identified by researchers. Age, a personal history of breast cancer, of lobular carcinoma in situ, of an atypical hyperplasia of the breast, a family history of breast cancer. If your mother or your sister have been diagnosed, particularly in a young age, your risk increase. There are also certain gene mutations that can be passed from parents to children. The most well-known are BRCA1 and BRCA2. Other factors are obesity, drinking alcohol, radiation exposure, and hormonal factors like beginning your period before the age of 12, beginning your menopause after the age of 55, having your first child after the age of 30, having never been pregnant, and taking hormonal medication. You have maybe noticed that certain risk factors can be changed and you can lower your risk by keeping a healthy diet, exercising regularly, not drinking alcohol or limited, and breastfeeding your children. Which signs and symptoms may this cancer include? This cancer can be revealed by any change of the size, the shape, the consistency of your breast. It can be also revealed by mass or lump. That's why it's important to perform breast self-exam. So how to do this breast self-exam? Start with a visual examination in a neutral position with your arms by your side in front of a mirror. Then raise your arms above your head and after that put your hands on your hips and test your chest muscles and try to notice any change of the size, the shape, the consistency of your breast, any retraction, any nipple inversion, any bleeding, any abnormal discharge. When you finish this part, lay down because it makes it easier to feel for lamp or mass. Put a pillow or a towel underneath your right shoulder to elevate it. Put your hand under your head and then use the pads of your three middle fingers to feel your breast tissue in a circular motion. When you finish it, you check your underarm area. Repeat the same steps in the left side. The best time to perform this exam is about one week after the beginning of your menstruation. Now that you know how to perform a breast self-exam, you should know that even if you haven't any sign or symptoms, after the age of 50 and sometimes 40 if you have risk factors, you become a target of screening, which means checking a breast before there are any signs or symptoms to diagnose breast cancer in early stages. This screening consists of performing a mammogram every two years. A mammogram is an X-ray 
picture, we will place your breast on a plastic plate. Another plastic plate will flatten your breast from above. It can be uncomfortable, but it isn't painful and it saves lives. Try to not have your mammogram the week before and during your period and don't wear any deodorant or perfumes. A radiologist will read your mammogram and he will report the results to you and to your doctor. So the take home messages will be that the breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in women in the world and he can be easily diagnosed by mammogram and treated in early stages. So don't forget your mammos. Thank you for listening to the Doctor's High Medical Advice podcast. See you on the next episode which will be about cervix cancer. If you have any questions, let me know on the comments below. Take care of yourself and goodbye.